You guys, you guys know who this guy is? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Who is it? Yeah. So he's coming. As you guys know, we're gonna retire his jersey tomorrow. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Pretty cool thing. Brent's over here. You guys say hi to Mr. Parker. Hi, hi guys. So Brent's doing a little tour with them, taking them around, visiting his old school and everything else. But he's been busy already today, skating with cats. But we asked if he'd come say a couple words to you guys. Okay? So I'll just turn it over to him. Yeah. Hey, it's pretty cool being back in here. I used to do the exact same thing you guys were doing. Uh, how old are you guys? 10? 11? 10, 9. 10, 9. Yeah. I remember being 10 years old sitting on the same bench as you guys were, uh, you know, about to go and play too. So uh, this is pretty special for me coming back here. I used to live just over here. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's amazing how far I've come, you know, 12 years since then. You know, it's, uh, it's due to a lot of hard work. You know, I, I love to play hockey. That was the funnest thing I love to do was I go out every day, probably like the same thing you guys do. You guys play street hockey? Yeah. yeah. Street hockey, outdoor rink, same thing. I used to do that every day, I loved it. and um, I think that's a big part of why, where I, how I'm here today. So I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, you know it's amazing how far all the hard work can take you. And, and uh, I used to be in the exact same position you were. So uh, you know maybe if you put a little hard work and you love to play the game too, if you, if you go out there and enjoy it. Um, you know, soon enough, one day you'll be in the NHL through full um, time. We'll turn it over. Jordan's had a busy day, and he's going to have a busy next couple of days. But uh, you know, we're fortunate to have him here. And uh, like I said, worked out perfect that he can come uh, say a few words to, to both teams here before their game. So I'll turn it over to him and we'll go from there. So. Yeah, just like I was telling the other guys over there, um, you know, it wasn't too long ago I was sitting on the same bench as you guys are right now. It's, it's pretty neat to where I've come. Uh, you know, Todd drafted me when I was about 14 years old. Yeah, a little input too. <laughs> Sorry, and Brent. Um, you know, it was uh, this is where this is where it all began for me with hockey Regina and, and uh, you know playing outside on the streets like I'm sure you guys do all the time and uh, in the outdoor rink, you know, in the air. So I just grew up right over here. So um, you know, it's pretty special for me to come back here and see all this. And uh, you know, I just want to tell you guys, you know, you guys are in the same position I used to be. And, you know, it's uh, it's amazing if you guys. You know, work hard and obviously have fun. That's the biggest thing is you enjoy it. And, um, you know, I love going to the rink every day, and that's the funnest thing for me to do. So, um, like I said, if you work hard and, and have fun, you know, hopefully one day you'll be in the NHL too. So, or when it starts. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's really neat. You know, even walking back into this, I haven't been in this rink for three or four years. So, um, you know, I played a lot of my minor hockey here, and, and to go in and see, uh, you know, a lot of the kids, and like I said to them, you know, they're in a situation where I was, you know, 12, 10 years ago. So. Um, you know, it's amazing where the time has gone, but, um, you know, Hockey Regina does like, such a good uh, job of developing their kids, and I know they continue to do that. So a lot of good players come out of this, uh, out of this uh, organization. What I thought was cool in there, it looked to me like you were having as much fun as the kids were. Yeah, yeah, like I said, um, there's a lot of memories, of, you know, winning, you know, whether it was Regina City Championships or whatever in there. It's, it was uh, pretty cool. I mean, I think everyone can go back to remember playing and, you know, whether it was rinks like this or outdoor or, or on the street or, um, you know, it was a lot of fun. So it was, it was cool to see the kids, uh, the smiles on their faces. And, uh, you know, even when I walked in, they knew who I was. It was pretty neat. What, um, what do you remember about this rink? Were there, is there, were there any special uh, Jordan Everly moments here? <laughs> I, I, I don't think so. I was always a Regina King. I don't know how they do it now, but um, you know we had a pretty good team. I remember we used to win all the city championships, so it was, it was pretty. Uh, I still have a lot of friends actually that I used to play on these teams with. So um, you know, it's uh, there's just a lot of memories of just you know enjoying the game here. Put That's yourself true. in their shoes. If you were in this locker room back in the day, if some big NHL star came, <laughs> how would you react? Uh, I'd be just as you know baffled as they were if you know. Um, you know, I remember, you know, being at the uh, NHL uh, All-Star game this summer and being in a dressing room with Pavel Datsuk and I'm, you know, blown away or, you know, so that's, uh, you know, equivalent of it for me. So, um, you know, it's, it's definitely pretty cool. I can come back and, and they can you know, see smiles like that. When you were 9 or 10, did you ever have the kind of opportunity that they had today to meet an NHL player? I don't think so. Um, you know, I don't really. Rem I remember meeting some of the Pats, and I thought that that was huge for me. Um, went to all the games, and um, you know, I got to do the uh, 
the uh, what do you call it, the seventh man on the ice when you skate out and warm or uh, before the game. I did that when I was ten years old. So yeah, um, you know it's pretty it's pretty cool that uh, you know where I've come now.